Hey guys, we're ordering keto-friendly Five Guys burgers and fries. Coming right up. Hey guys, I'm Aaron. Welcome to AD Keto, your weekly dose of all things ketogenic diet. Today, we are ordering Five Guys burgers and fries, my favorite burgers in the world. I've been a longtime fan of Five Guys, going back to my pre-keto days, but I thought that I'd have to give it up uh, when I started keto, but that is not the case. Burgers are actually very friendly to keto if you know what you're doing, which is get rid of the bun and the fries, unfortunately. So you can order in the store, but what I like to do is order online either with an iOS app or right on the computer, which is what we're going to do today. All right, so we're just gonna come in and go to Five Guys. And just gonna load for a long time. Oh, they've updated their site. So I'm gonna click locations and I'm gonna type in my zip code where I know it is. And this is not the one I go to. This is the one I go to. I'm gonna click order. And I'm going to, I'm not in Toledo, Ohio. I'm in Albany, New York. This is my guy right here. I don't know why it says 0.0, .0 miles because it's not 0.0, .0 miles. I don't live at Five Guys. I'm gonna dive in and order my fantastically awesome bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, what? It's gonna be awesome. Uh, okay, so here's bacon cheeseburger. Uh, I'm going to do no bun. And I'm also gonna do wrapped in lettuce. You can do both. Uh, I've been there a couple times and they say, they ask you if you have an allergy. I just say, nope, it's personal preference. And um, if you tell them you want it in a, in a bowl, they usually don't give it to your wrapped in lettuce, but I'm gonna request that it's wrapped in lettuce as well. I've tried eating a burger that's just lettuce, not in a bowl, and it is a, an instant mess. So I like to try to keep it in a bowl, wrapped in lettuce, that's the main thing on keto, just don't get the bun. And then for my toppings, I'm going to do, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Uh, going to do extra cheese, let's do lettuce, uh, extra patty, yes. I'm gonna do an extra patty. And when I get there, I'm gonna ask them for a little bit of extra bacon, which I've done in the past as well, and they're happy to do that. And I'm going to pick up nine minutes, I can't get there in nine minutes. No, you know what, I'll do it in nine minutes. Great, I've ordered uh, and it's gonna be ready in roughly 10 minutes. So it's about a 12 minute drive to Five Guys uh, and I've gotta go. Okay, come on, best 11 year old videographer in the game. Hop in. <laughs> Mommy was driving. Just, oh God, my knees. My ten on the knees, knees. All right, buckle yourself in here. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. Today, it was my third day of school and I was walking one way and my other friends were walking another way. So I ran to catch up with them. And then I hear a girl scream. And then I just see uh, some barf. You see some barf? Out of another person's mouth. Uh-huh. And the people who were walking with the girl who barfed, one of them, Slipped and fell in the vomit. Not cool. Fell into another person's guts. Barf. Splash. Oh, there it is. Bye, guys. Let's do it. Where is here? All right, so uh, they're hooking me up with extra bacon, which I'm very, very excited about. It's a bunch of tin foil. Ha! So that was absolutely delicious. One of my favorite things to get on Friday night is a burger from Five Guys with extra bacon, which they totally hooked me up with. I'm gonna flash the approximate macros up on the screen right now. Usually you can look up Five Guys 
not usually, all the time. You can look up five guys on my fitness pal and just kind of plug in what you had. I usually enter something like um, double bacon cheeseburger, bunless, um, and I get a, an approximate, um, you know, results for uh, calories, fat, protein, carbs, that kind of thing. Let me know what you think about Five Guys down in the comments. Are you huge fans like I am? Um, it's one of my favorite things to get on a Friday night, a bunless burger with all the bacon. So if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. And that's gonna do it for this week. I will see you soon. I told you it would smell like burgers in here.